got a little bit of a wait this morning before we make it to our next location here in Hirosaki. And I'm in the train station, and it's a fairly big train station. Not like a bullet train station or anything, it's not that, that substantial, but it's a pretty substantial train station. Nice building. And it seems fairly recently renovated at least, or maybe recently built. It's in nice shape, etc. It's not like an older one. I wonder if you can hear this noise behind us. We were walking up these stairs and Katie was like, that's live music. And they've just like, put a piano there. <laughs> And that lady is just like a lady. She's not like an employee or something. She's just a lady that sat down and is playing the piano and she's pretty good at it. It's really nice. It's a really cool touch. It's a really nice way to like bring a little bit of life to a transportation station in a official yet non-official way. You know what I mean? Like it's not just like a dude that brought his like instrument and set up and did a thing, which is cool too, but this is like the station is like, yeah, we want to bring some life here. This is how we're going to do it. Here's a nice piano. I am not a piano player, but I'll show you what I got. <laughs> I hope everybody's sitting down for this thrilling adventure we're about to all go on. <laughs> That's all I got. And uh, kind of embarrassing because it's really loud in this room, so we're gonna call that a uh, we're gonna call that a close on my piano career. <laughs> what a debut! If that performance gets a copyright strike, I will consider that a compliment. Yo, this train station is really nice. I know I already talked about the lady with the piano, but there's a whole bunch of like little quirks that are really nice about it. First thing that we notice as well is like beyond, beyond the piano, which is you notice it before you even come in, is they have a huge lounge and it's really nice. And they're selling omiyage and things like that in there, but it's not kitschy, lame omiyage and stupid, like those box cookies, like a box of like boring cookies that you I give to everybody. I got the impression that it was uh, individual um, sellers of things. Sure. So it's a conglomeration of different people making cool stuff as opposed to corporations, mm. which definitely led to things being cooler than normal. And they had this shirt in there that if it was in my size, let me be, believe me, I would be walking around with that shirt on right now. It was amazing, one of the coolest designs, especially for like a touristy thing that I've ever seen. Um, I also noticed that they have a, in addition to that area where they have the lounge and them selling things, there is a couple of ladies like in the middle of the train, um, I don't know, the crossing area inside of the train station before you go down on the platform or anything. And they are selling. What's that called? Yeah, I don't know. Concourse. Wow. Is that concourse? Word. Yeah. I think that is correct. In the concourse. The in the concourse they and they're selling like things that have been made in this area. It's not again. It doesn't seem like things that are made in a factory and then just like sold. It looks like like locally built farmer stuffs. And I think that's awesome. A lot of times that stuff just gets diluted and it gets really lame in a lot of tourist places. So that's a pretty cool thing to run across. They got a giant apple. The giant apple's not bad. <laughs> it's one of the only apples in the entire place. Yeah, I've seen five apples. <laughs> and um, I also noticed this is not that big of a deal, but they have a little box where you can return books to the library here. So you don't have to go all the way back to the library. Cause this would be like a central hub where people would be commuting in and out. So if you have a book and you just want to drop it off and not have to go all the way to the library, just drop it in this little box here. I think that's pretty smart. Seems like a lot of this has been planned out for like community purposes in a way that there's like attention to detail going on that has made it kind of like a, just a surprising little stop here in um, Hirosaki. Did I do it? Yeah! Now, I said now it. that you have context for how great the place yeah. is, it I, gets a name. I was telling Katie, I want to come back to this town. This town is really cool. Somebody before we came here told us on Instagram, oh, this town is awesome. Before they even knew we were coming here, they just knew we were in Aomori. And I was like, what's the big deal about it? And they're right, what, it's just got some charm to it. And uh, I'd like to see it in the winter. So maybe we'll come back up here in the winter. Yeah, it's a bit far from Tokyo, but hopefully we can come here and see some snow. A trash can, which we are in sore need of because we have all of our breakfast trash that there was nowhere to put it. If you've never been to Japan, you won't know how monumental this is. Hirosaki is uh, apparently 
perfect. We are looking. Perfect. <laughs> we, we've got a bit of time before our train. You want to look at apartments? Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's an apartment guide. <laughs> I really thought like that it was. I was like, wow, that is on point. <laughs> um, yeah. We're out in the Inaka. <laughs> we're really not. It's like a city, but the train we're about to get on does not take Suica or like an electronic car. So we actually have to use a machine. That feels good. <laughs> Um, I think I have to pick that I'm an adult first. Yeah, and then two people. So that it's already chosen. This mm. is shifting it to the other one. And we are going to Tanbo Atto. And we want a receipt, which I may have screwed that up, but... Wow, it was aggressive. <laughs> All right, we've got our tickets. We're ready to get on the train. We thought that we had like 30 minutes to get breakfast. It turned out waiting that 30 minutes made us have to wait an additional hour to get on the train. So a little bit of daylight savings has happened. <laughs> is that daylight savings really? It seems more um, like Daylight usings. wasting. <laughs> daylight wasting is what happened. We've taken this train and it is a one-man train one and man. it is run kind of like a bus is where you can buy a ticket the way you saw us buy a ticket in the video earlier but you can also just get on it without buying a ticket because a lot of the stations it stops at doesn't have like machines there's just a platform and you get on and you take a little piece of paper that has a number on it and then there's a board up in this train that shows you how much you have to pay when you get off and there's like a machine that you just dump your money into in this case the dude seemed to be the driving but the one man driver was also like getting the up and helping taker. people and the ticket taker yeah. and he was fixing a machine because it was old and like hitting it and trying to get the tickets to fall through and like the whole thing is awesome i love these old trains out in the countryside i think it was three cars long right yeah yeah and three three. no it was only two was it two two cars two. Long. It's, just, <laughs> it's a little nubby train and uh i don't know some people are like living out here and that's their mode of transportation getting around i think it's awesome the views out the window and everything were really cool and hopefully we're about to see something that's unique. We've ridden on the train back to Hirosaki and we are beelining for an apple pie. That is not the most convenient apple pie because the most convenient apple pies are all closed on Sundays. All the ones that are near the station, closed on Sundays. Today, Sunday. It had to be complicated, didn't it? Today is complicated, we'll get into that later. Yeah, we've hit some complications, but we've made fun of them. I think that's how I say that. I think I say it like that. Um, and now we're walking from the station to an apple pie shop. And just outside the station, there is one of these stands. And what struck Eric the most was that this is not a hundred yen fruit that no, who cares if somebody steals it? This is 1000 yen. This is $10 sitting right here. And not that $10 is a whole lot of money, but it's just not trivial. So it's surprising that it's still sitting here unprotected but then again the koban is right here that's the popo y'all <laughs> i wonder if this is the popo's fruit stand i'm thinking about getting these tomatoes man did you smell that it's fresh you smelled through the bag baby i smelled it through the bag <laughs> through my mask okay like katie said we are back in hirosaki wow. and we were going to do something that was unique and you may have been noticing that maybe that unique thing didn't happen. <laughs> Not in the video. So we're gonna explain what transpired. We went way down this train line, this little train line, like 20 minutes or so. And then you get off way out in the middle of nowhere at this thing called Tombo Otto. And that means like rice paddy art. There is this building that has stairs in it that you can climb up. And from the top of the observation area, you can look down and see this artwork that they have literally made 
in the rice paddy and with different colored, different colored rice plants. plants. So they put the plants in. I don't know if they're rice plants necessarily, but they're different colors so that they can make a artwork for you to see from above. So the, the thing is, is you climb up in the building and you can look down and you can see the art paddy or rice paddy, Ooh, art, art paddy. paddy. Yeah, better. the rice paddy. And it's supposedly really cool looking, but we got all the way out there and there is a sign on the door that says that it's not running right now because of Corona. So, <laughs> which, this building smells like a cake. Yes, it does. Maybe they have apple pie. <laughs> um, so, to be honest with you, we actually stayed in this city specifically so we could do that. So that was like an hour on the train last night, and then the specific place that we stayed, and, you and then the transfer out there, and we missed the and, first train and this morning. And you were morning. there for the daylight wasting. Yeah. We, so like we have dumped like a probably five or six hours into seeing this uh, art patty that it just didn't work because it was closed and nothing told us that it was closed anywhere. I'm, I don't, I guess I didn't assume for a thing that's outside and not like an indoor building or something. Like I didn't expect it to be closed is really what it comes down to. Are we turning left here? Uh, if it's covered and shady, I say we turn here okay. instead of down there. So we went all the way out there and the thing that saved the day <laughs> is that they have a QR code on a piece of paper explaining that everything is closed and the QR code has got a URL on it that takes you to a live cam. And the live cam shows you the live view of the artwork, which is kind of cool because we were able to stand at the camera and then have our friend Stefan take a picture with like his screenshot like on his computer. <laughs> so we actually got to see like us at the art patty. From a perspective we wouldn't have been able to do without a drone, which we don't have. Yeah, and it, I guess like it gave us a, a strange opportunity and a keepsake that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise because if we had gone and it was functioning normally, we would have taken pictures and had one of us would have been down there and yeah. Like, yeah. So it, it gave us a unique situation and a very random story. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But regardless, uh, the morning kind of went haywire but it's honestly not been that bad. We got to see the piano, we got to see the cool like uh, train Hello, station. Zaki. Yeah, like uh, all these things just kind of like, even when things are like kind of like fumbling apart and like not working, you can still sometimes get lucky and everything still ties together. It really hasn't been a bad morning even though nothing has gone to plan. Mm. So we're walking 15-ish minutes to go to get this uh, apple pie. But and I, I called first and I was like, yo, Y'all got apple pie? And she was like, yeah, we got apple pie. And I was like, all right, we're gonna make the walk. Because <laughs> if we walked all the way over there in the sun, it's hot today by y'all. Yeah. Uh, uh, if we walked all the way over there in the sun and didn't get any apple pie, I'd be a little disappointed. That would be where the day would start to break for me. <laughs> this is kind of out away from the city center. It's not like, you know, out in the sticks or nothing, but like you can see there's no sidewalk anymore, really. <laughs> so. Thanks to Noel, we're packing. Apple pie, that is. <laughs> now the plan is just to go on with our day. We're gonna eat this around Fika time. I told her we'll probably have it in a couple of hours. So inside is a uh, ice pack to keep it cool and kind of refrigerated. Um, and we're just gonna head on our way Back to through. the station. And I think we're heading to Aomorishi after this. I'm not really sure. We'll figure that out. Didn't even think about this when we were there, but the art that's on the tanbo that we went to, the rice paddy thing, it's these people, which is like a big sign right at South Station. And it uh, looks like it's a movie that I don't know anything about because I don't want to think about movies. But uh, it appears to be about a girl with a shamisen, like a Japanese instrument, and uh, it's called Itomichi. You now know as much as I know. now. We took the little train about 40 minutes. We're getting a coin locker for the day. This one's really space, really spacious. Yeah man that's almost an apartment. It's <laughs> <laughs> 500 yen. You're taking your big backpack? Huh? No 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 you're taking okay. the wrong bag. My bad. <laughs> I'm taking what was laid on the ground. <laughs> My bad hold on. Okay. Uh. 
sure so, we don't need anything up. Gonna do the locker check where everybody goes, are we sure we have everything we need to survive the day? I think I'm good. Um, I'm probably gonna put my computer in here. Oh, okay, good idea. So the reason that this is happening is because we are going to be leaving from Aomori to go back to Tokyo tonight, but we still wanna do some exploring around the city. And uh, we couldn't leave our bags where we stayed because it was like 40 minutes away and that's not the departure point for our train back to Tokyo. So here we are, dropping the big bucks. Dropping the big bucks. <laughs> the big coins. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's 500 yen. Doesn't say like a time limit, but I'm assuming if your stuff's in here at the end of the day, you might not be too happy when you come back and it's not here at the end of the day. I think we'll be all right. We're leaving at like seven or something, so. Yeah. Um, some of these are digitized now where you just use like a Suica passcode or whatever, but these are older and you gotta drop, drop and change. And then just gives you the key and you're on your way. There wasn't really anything in the book for either city that we were just in. So we decided mm -hmm. to hit the train and get all the way here, be in our final ending point for activities. And um, I looked up a restaurant and it said that last call or last order was at one o'clock. We got to the door of this place, same place, at 1.30, and the lady just waved me right in, and I was just heavenly floating to the seat because I am psyched that they do hotate, which is scallops, a scallop restaurant. They do a lot of other things, case in point why Eric has entered the building, but... Um, Not hotate. <laughs> <laughs> um, they do scallop stuff, which having a place that focuses on it is really unique and exciting for me because I'm not allowed to cook this at home, case in point why Eric will still continue to live with me. And uh, so I, I'm quite excited. I'm, I'm just gonna jump in. I'm a little worried they might be incredibly hot. I'm, I'm trying to feel it with my cheek. Um, <laughs> That's a thick. Oh my oh. gosh. That is your, that's your official thick boy. Right that's there. a thick boy. <laughs> Flavor isn't explosive, but it's a nice way to enjoy a scallop. Um, she told me to put some soy sauce on it. I'm going to get into that in my own time. And I'm going to get into the rest of this. Your meal looks boring. Wait, Katie said, if she cooks hotate in the house, I'm not happy. I cannot stand the smell of these things when she cooks them like on the frying pan or whatever. It's just, it's toxic for days. It's just like, I can't deal with it. So the only time she gets to enjoy these is outside of the house. I don't think I've ever eaten one. I just can't feel the smell. But deep fried, maybe this is going to be okay. So I mean, Remember I'm just going to gonna try it. Do you say dip it? Yes. Show you. I'll put it in a little bit and show you. And, uh, okay. Think of crab meat. It does taste like crab. It's more the texture of crab than mm -hmm. the taste of crab. Yeah. It doesn't taste overwhelmingly seafood, like sea, like from the ocean. <laughs> that was basically, basically my problem. So yeah, it's fine. Kind of, you're, you're right. If you told me, oh, this is deep fried crab, I'd be like, no, I'm eating it, not even thinking about it. So, yeah, it's, I didn't gag on it, but I still don't want anybody cooking it around me. <laughs> you can start from your stuff looking more exciting than I had initially. But oh, you think this looks more exciting? No, 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 that does. Oh, this does. Oh, okay. Well, here, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just try a little piece of fish and see, because I had the really good stuff yesterday, yeah? Hmm. Where does this fall? Because this was a lot cheaper. This set was 900 yen. <laughs> It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Man. Oh, that bodes well for my savings. Um, <laughs> so, you were like, there's nothing interesting, and I even forgot we ordered this, but this is gyoza. Not that interesting, I love gyoza, but this is apple gyoza. There's literally apple inside of it. And I have no idea what, usually you prepare your own sauce, but this came with this on it. So I'm not sure what it is. I'm assuming vinegar, because apple and vinegar kind of goes good together. But um, yeah, so it's like a dumpling. It usually has meat and stuff in it. I have something sweet like this. is not usual. So let's get a good old Dippin's going. Mm. 
it still tastes like gyoza for sure, but it's almost like anything that would have been like the greens or the vegetables or whatever has been replaced with apple. And I believe, I, if there's not meat in there, I'd be, it would gotta be meat. It looks like meat, I think. I can definitely see apple. <laughs> the sauce didn't, definitely vinegar. Oh yeah, just definitely vinegar. I don't know what else is in there with it, but it's really strong. They went heavy on the vinegar. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's not bad at all. And it wasn't like some like ridiculously expensive like specialty thing. It was 400 yen, which is about standard fare for a plate of yoga. So, yeah, hey, uh, I'm glad they let us in. I have some bad news. Something very important to the history of me is no longer here, I think. Four years ago, I hitchhiked up through Hokkaido, and during that trip, I came to Aomori to come to the Nebuta Matsuri, which is this incredible matsuri with these giant floats that they have. And we're gonna be going to a museum that is wrapped around this in a few minutes. Haven't been in yet, don't know how good it is, but we'll bring you with us if we can. And next to the museum is next to the train station, and is an area with some construction. The night that I came here for this matsuri, I didn't have any hotels or anything. So I ended up just sleeping on a bench. The bench was like right there where the construction is, unless my memory is wrong, but I'm 99% sure there was this big long bench there. And when I was laying on that bench falling asleep, there were two drunk people, young people, at the end of the, <laughs> at the, end of the bench. And she was getting finger blasted and he was doing the finger blasting. And she was making weird eye contact with me and I told the story on camera at the time and it sort of became known as Finger Bang Bench. When I came and sat down over here, there was this couple sitting over there and they were just talking or whatever. And they're on this long bench and like, she's completely topless. I couldn't see her front side of her, but like, it was very clear she was completely exposed. And like, he was, you know, he had to wash his hand when they were finished. And that whole thing happened and it, they, no way, there's no way they didn't think I saw. Like, they, they, they know I saw. There's no, no chance. Like, she turned and looked at me, essentially, and made eye contact with me. And they just kept doing their thing and then ran off. I think Finger Bang Bench is gone, y'all. I think it's inside of where that construction is taking place. So maybe, I don't know, we're gonna maybe- We need some satellite footage. Yeah, maybe we're gonna need, some, we need a drone to fly over there and check. But they, I, they, they basically, uh, they, they probably craned out the bench and then they're, they're going to bring it back. <laughs> Maybe they saw my video and they were like, we got to get rid of this thing. <laughs> Maybe it's gone now because of my story. But anyway, yeah, that is uh, one of the places I saw something perverse happening. And I think, unless it's just like, maybe the bench is inside and when it's done, it'll be still be there. Maybe they're building like a monument to the bench. That's possible too. It was a pretty monumental moment. So who knows what's coming, but something is on its way. I hope it's uh, at least at least kind of is, is like it apple pie fun as apple pie <laughs> that's what we'll say <laughs> let's go to this museum eric asked me the other day if i was jealous or envious of his hitchhiking in hokkaido series and my answer to that was no like i am incredibly happy that he got to do it i think that his level in language was perfect for that time, mine would have been a nightmare. And I think that if we had both gone together, it wouldn't have been as impressive, as exciting, as awesome as it was. So him having gone and done that, I almost feel like I lived it the right way. So I'm not envious of it. But one thing that I really, really wish that I had been there for was this Nebuta Matsuri that he has talked about. Like, <laughs> and I, I roll my eyes, I roll my eyes at my frustration of not fully understanding how cool it is. That's why I'm frustrated. And we've, we've seen lots of these floats like what you see behind me. And every time we see it, it's not the right size. It's not the right size. Yeah. So I'm waiting to be standing in front of one that is the right size. It's um, still too small, y'all. This is still too small. <laughs> um, I am very excited to go into this museum because I'm hoping that some of the floats that they actually take out during the Matsuri, will, Matsuri, Matsuri will be there. And uh, I can't believe this waited until day four. I really can't. <laughs> We're gonna go on a Katie Explains adventure. So the Nebuta Matsuri has gigantic floats in it that light up. 
and like 20 to 30 people are carrying these gigantic floats and they take months to construct these things. What you see in here is on the inside you have a wooden frame. That wooden frame has an electrical line going through it or along it and there are little lights captured inside. So that's how the light is illuminating from the inside. Then on the outside, you have a metal frame and paper has been attached to each individual piece, each individual space, which I think that is incredible attention to detail. But what's also smart about it is that if you have any imperfection or any problem with one sheet, you only have to replace one cube, which is a very good thinking thing they did. But I, I love being able to see inside this hand. I don't know if you could tell, but this is someone's hand. And it's incredible. And then we found this bot over here. Straight segue. <laughs> I don't know what it does. It says you can make a face. My neighbor. Yeah, make your oh. own one. Okay, here we go. Oh, so you just start with your... It's like the me maker for a Yeah. Okay. Are these the only colors I get? Yeah, okay. go blue. You want me to go blue? Okay. Yeah. Next. I like, oh, vigorously angry. Oh, and you get to put it where you want it? Up high. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go back because you can choose more things. Go back? Oh. Yeah, see, it's like <gasps> me maker, man. You got to like, want to do more me makers? Can you put it on top? Okay, only one of those. All right. And then we got the eyes. These look pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What nose? This this looks real dong esque. Yeah, it looks just like a penis. That's a dong. <laughs> and ooh, I like these. Yeah, dong with the fangs. We're, we're, you would make the same dude. What is this? this? Is this a mustache? Oh, oh indeed. Okay, Hold on, I want to see this one. I like this one better. Yeah, I agree. Okay, this is user error. All right, last one. Ooh, that one. Okay, and then hit the go button. Oh, look at that man. Oh, cool. We made him. It's a bit dim even in real life, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. That's fun. The eyeballs were moving with one of them. Did the eyeballs move? I don't think so. Looks just like you. It does. Eric, is it the right size? That's looking the right size, but being above it doesn't make quite feel the same as when it's oh, rolling down the street. Oh, we're going downtown. Don't <laughs> don't even worry about that. But I just wanted to present it like from afar so you get the whole thing in and really understand because I am so excited about this right now. <laughs> I've just been waiting. <laughs> it's so incredibly badass, dude. Yeah. It's really awesome. One of the coolest things I've seen in Japan. Oh, no, it's representing the cherry blossoms. I thought these were like fingers coming over or like shoga. <laughs> I don't know what I was seeing in my it's head. Just, but... It's cool looking. In, it's just awesome. There's so much story going on and it just looks so rad. Yeah. Let's go downtown just found out something new that on each side of this city block of a float <laughs> there's a different scene or a continuation of the scene facing in that direction. I really thought that they were just one directional where they were floating down the Matsuri. You would just be seeing them from the front but the back is just as phenomenal as the, as the front. There's no lack of detail <laughs> put into this. It's ridiculous. I think you can get a pretty good idea of the size of these just by looking at the footage and seeing people walk around and you can kind of see like, okay, this is a pretty substantial structure, but you can't tell how heavy they are by looking at them, obviously. <laughs> um, and it's a little misleading because they are just made of net and like the, the wire mesh and the paper mache, essentially, some paint and some light bulbs and some wire. But there is also a power generation system and a wooden frame. And when you add all that together, most of them weigh around four tons. And it takes around 30 people just to move them. And I know that from when I was here seeing the Matsuri in real life, 
the way they move is not just like going down the road. They like swing them down towards the crowd and stuff and it like gets down in your face and they swing them back. They don't just like go down the road. They, they're alive. They come at people, etc., etc. Something else that is of note is that <laughs> they're doing a live music performance behind me right now uh, of these ladies just showing you the type of music it plays. That is of note, but it's not what I was going to say. The last thing of note that I wanted to mention is that the scenes on the floats are coming from a story. A lot of them come from like Japanese folklore, and they start with a painting that somebody will make, and then it gets adapted into this living diorama, this living float that ends up being this gigantic structure. It weighs, like I said, four tons. <laughs> I'm fascinated with this. I would love to come back up here with Lake Katy sometime. And uh, hopefully we can see these in real life together. I've been here all along. <laughs> but I mean rolling down the road. <laughs> you were like, if I lived up here, I'd be getting involved. Yeah, I, I would ask if there was some way for me to just, just do, do construction. I, I can't dream this up. I can't orchestrate it, but I can be told what to do. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be awesome. It'd be a cool community. Mm -hmm. finally Fika time. We have gotten the uh, beautiful box that we had for our apple pie and Katie has deconstructed it into a plate and um, we are just chilling outside of the museum that we were at and at, right out front of the museum they've got a little beach people are playing on and stuff. I didn't know El Mori had a beach. Yeah man. Beaches, mm. apples, finger banging, the whole package. Mm. And there is a apple cider like I don't know if it's a factory but it's like a tourist tourist attraction I guess <laughs> gonna be polite about it and they've got a place that sells apple cider and stuff so we have got a couple of apple ciders as well so we've got the apple pie and the apple cider he's um, gone dry I am sweet there's a regular as well we just kind of went in the middle you can do a thing where you can in like, the middle regular would have been in the middle yeah we yeah. went on the outside yeah we went on the outside it's regular I don't know what I said I wasn't paying attention to myself <laughs> <laughs> obvious the uh they have a thing where you can do like a small tasting and stuff but we decided that we just wanted to sit outside no, no, okay people people who watch this have gone to tastings now they're charging like 300 yen for less than 100 milliliters of something um so like it's 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 kind of expensive when you could just go and get this and it's I was, the, the thing that sold me is if we did it this way, we could sit outside and eat our pie. If we did it inside, it'd be a little weird to eat our pie from someplace else, uh -huh. and you'd be drinking out of these thimbles. And like, I don't know. I just, yeah, there, you could you could get 15 milliliters of something for 100 yen. We don't often have an alcoholic fika. It's true. Okay, so this is just an easy one. This is two almori. Two almori. That's dry, baby. Sweet. <laughs> I wonder if we mix them together, we'd get regular. Bonus flavor we get to try. Stick with my sweet. My sweet one is better, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know how alcoholic this is, either 5% or 5%. something like that. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's beer level. And so we've also got our little pieces of apple pie that we've been trucking around all day. And it looks like the uh, this is just the little cool pack. It's not quite cold anymore, but I, it, the, cake, the, the pie looks perfectly fine. Mm. I'm gonna let, can you deconstruct mine? Uh, you found like a seam or something. The, it's got a tug on it. Oh, oh, it's getting stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so as we do this, I want you to think about like, you know, we're gonna tie up this, tie up this trip. Mm -hmm. All we've got left to is, is a Shinkansen ride back to Tokyo at this point. So what have you got this, what are your thoughts about Aomori? Well, we both already said that coming back to specific parts of it. Mm -hmm. there, there are parts I don't need to go back to, but sure. um, yeah, there's, there's future here for living in Hirosaki. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we both are kind of enchanted by it a little bit. It was a really cool little town. They had a little art thing that I thought about doing this morning. <laughs> a thousand yen and I can I can paint my own chopsticks. All right, I'm in. <laughs> That's um, got you looking for apartments? <laughs> yeah, it's got me looking for apartments. Um, yeah, that was incredible. Um, we didn't see a lot of things. Like Aomori is pretty big, so we didn't see uh, much of Hachinoe. Yeah. We really didn't see much of Aomori Shi, 
but I mean, you can only do what you can do in the four or five days, four days that we were here. Yeah, I guess. And, I, and the aim with the prefecture video is to focus on the prefecture, Rather not on any cities. particular city, because you could come back and you could get a book about the, the city itself and poke around in there. Mm. So, um, yeah, and I like getting into the outskirts and seeing the weird things like the, the, the Shinkansen tunnel. Oh, yeah. I, you ponies. Dude, you know, you, ponies? Know that I, you know that I just saw that there was a tunnel. And I was like, God, we gotta go to the tunnel. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even know where it went. I didn't find out <laughs> until we were there that it was about Shinkans and stuff. <laughs> but I drove for hours towards <laughs> the opening of a tunnel. <laughs> it didn't matter. Can we talk about the ponies? Yeah. I'm done talking about the ponies. It's just they were really nice. It was a really. Well, that was a short was, conversation that, about ponies. They kind of speak for themselves. Uh, um, the one thing I would say that's disappointing about Almodi is the the, the 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 lack of apples that we came across. It was oddly that, that difficult was a rough day. to find apples. There's no apples in there. There are no apples in the grocery store. What sort of like episode of insanity is this? <laughs> But we've got apple pie in the apple cider now, so we're gonna redeem it. Um, I'm gonna get up into this apple pie. When we went in the shop, it smelled. Ooh, I wanted to explain something before oh. we started. So I can't oh. eat? What's happening? Gotta get to page 45. She memorizes <laughs> the page numbers of these multi, like 100 page books. Is it really page 45? It is, oh my God, it is. <laughs> she um, memorizes so it. So what I want to share is this is where we went. And we're going to probably overlay it so it's easier for you to see. But they have little charts in here that tell you like the different factors of the different apple pies that you can have. And some stuff about the establishment. So where we went is this one right here. And it basically says you can't eat in. You can only go and purchase an apple pie there or your slice. The bottom part here is saying it's level of cinnamon factor. This was one of the highest in cinnamon, which we're both excited about because apple pie to me needs to be cinnamon. Yeah. Um, and that might be what's been lacking about apple pies in Japan for mm. me. And um, there's other factors in here, like how the apple is uh, sliced. We've got chunky, which would be goro goro. And then there's other ones that are just slice or pesto. Pesto? Pesto. 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 Yeah, pe um, pe yeah. Pe so there's a whole little factor sheet in here and you can choose which thing you care about the most. Who's getting and apple paste? Come on I want to know what, what's apple paste? I don't know. I would have eaten it. I got no problem we, with that. Let's get into this. Um, let's get into this game. Well, my, it was clear and it was hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ugh. It's finally getting some apple? To finally finding that apple pie. Apple pie in the sky. Mm. I'm glad we went for the cinnamon. Yes. We could have gotten one that was just in the station that was like, was like, it didn't look good, y'all. Mm. So I was like, look, we're gonna go through this 30 minute hot walk to get this. This was Yeah, he it. came up with me and was like, all right, I'm gonna tell you the truth. That apple pie over there doesn't look like a good apple pie. And I called the other place and they have the apple pie. What and is it on like, top? Right. It's got like a jelly? Yeah, like, it does seem like some sort of jelly. Like, there, there's a thing there, that's for sure. And it kind of makes it look real shiny. Mm -hmm. mm. It doesn't yeah. have much, maybe it's a little sweet. Mm. Um, I miss home dad. Oh, the car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, became, it became apparent when we were missing trains and then at yeah. a place without what we were hoping to have and all that stuff that went on this morning with the tanbo auto that it would have been nice to have just had a car to make all those mistakes in because mm -hmm. then you're just like oh well we'll just drive someplace else beep, 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 beep. and this just felt kind of like uh boy things aren't going quite right but yeah. in the end the day kind of pulled it to get pulled it all together and worked out so yeah bummed out that finger bang bench is gone but pretty much the rest of the trip has been pretty on point Let's just talk about all the reasons we're sad. No, no, no! I'm talking about I'm talking about how good the trip has been. Mm. This Definitely th jelly. I'm pure. Here's the thing. I have confidence that somewhere else in this town, somebody's getting finger blasted on a bench. So, I feel like that tradition is just going to migrate to a new location. So it's okay. Mm. You, you listen ready? hard. Enough. <laughs> you listen hard. <laughs> you hear the finger blasting in the wind, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that's probably a good sign amount of things to say. Yeah, wow. 
impressive. Um, this just does leave me with a um, a taste in my mouth for more Tohoku. I realize hmm. that we haven't really filmed much in Tohoku. We've gone to and other parts of Japan and stuff, and we've been to Tohoku, but we haven't made like prefixture videos about them. And there's a lot of other areas up here that I think would be nice to hit. The reason, by the way, that we ended up coming up here, I remember there was a lot of things to say, I'm back on track, um, is because they had a uh, special JR pass. Like a JR pass, if you've been a tourist in Japan, you, you're gonna know what that is. It's like unlimited usage of the train for X number of days, but residents of Japan, even foreign residents, aren't usually allowed to use them. But since it's been Corona times, they're allowing residents that are foreigners, so Japanese people can't use them, but we can use them. To racist. Use, yeah, I know, it is a little racist. We're allowed to use these JR passes now. So there was a special one for the Tohoku area that was Nimon in, which is like 190 bucks, $180. And it gave us five days on the train, which is how we facilitated this whole trip for a much cheaper price than what would normally be able to happen. Mm -hmm. So it's been pretty nice. And it's, Basically what we saved on the uh, pass yeah, been, is how much the car cost. Yeah. So that, that really worked out nicely. It felt like I saved the money on an entire car. Yeah, but I mean, now I'm looking forward to like, man, maybe we should try to hit up Akita or, you know, any of the other areas, Miyagi. Like, there's a lot going on up here in Tohoku. One thing that it made me think, I want to go down to the south of Honto. Because, uh... Hon Honshu? Honshu. Honto. <laughs> down to the south of uh, Honshu because we talked about how we haven't been down there. Yeah, yeah. And that but would be nice. We also hadn't been up here. Especially in the winter. Mm, yeah, it'll be go better there. weather down mm, there. Yeah. Mm. We've been in Japan 10 years and we're still like finding regions we haven't even Somebody really dug into. Somebody recently told me they'd been to every, or they'd almost been to every prefecture or something like that. And I was just like, you've only been here for like five years. Did you put a toe and, and, in and, or did you actually and, do a and good I thing? I slam a prefecture. I will <laughs> slam a prefecture and I don't know what you're doing. I can't do I, What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> now I'm out of things to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, cheers to that. Mm, cheers to being out of things to say. This is a bit of a... something to tack on about the apple adventure that I went on, trying to find an Almody apple. I had wanted to go apple picking, didn't get to happen. We looked for apple pies and that was a struggle. I went to convenience stores and supermarkets looking for Almody apples. You know what? Just come to Tokyo. They're right here. What the fuck? I have just finished the final Awamori video. So mm -hmm. that whole series was, is all finished and this is where we gotta say this stuff. I'll let you do it this time because I, I tend to cut you off and do it, so. Are you cutting it? You're gonna keep it closed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, biggest thing is you can go over to Patreon and get more involved and big props to people on Patreon who are helping support this amazing little adventure we're all on together. And um, other places that you can get involved would be like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Eric is on Twitch doing random stuff every now and then. And um, those are the ones that I can remember right There's now. also a Discord server and there's oh, links yes. to check out like Amazon um, wish lists and stuff down there. I'd give your presentation there a 6 out of 10. It wasn't like, I mean, you brought the Katie, but like you, you missed out on some of the information and stuff. It could be better. I didn't know this was graded. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there's gonna be some more videos coming. Oh, you forgot about the subscribe, the bell, the comments, all oh. the stuff you gotta push the algorithm. Yeah, there's all Solid sorts five. of stuff. Yeah, that's a five out of ten. Um, and yeah, what do we got next? What is coming next? I'm not sure exactly if there will be a video before this happens, but we we filmed a series up in where did we Tochi, go? Tochigi, Nasu. Yeah, we went up to Nasu and made like a little video series up there. So that's gonna be the next thing that's gonna be on docket. It should be coming later in October. It's October now. Did October. Did you see me the hot dog yet? Uh, yeah, the hot dog video went live like a few hours ago. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, you were telling me comments. Everybody's really impressed with me bringing my own onions. <laughs> B Y O O, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the end of the, this series, and on to our more series in the future. Yes. What would you give? How would you grade me? Um, solid five. There's one thing I forgot to note, and I think this apple pie is missing the mark because it's warm apple pie. Why is this pie cold? What do you mean? Wait, what? <laughs> it's cold apple pie. 
well, and if you warmed it up, the gelatin. Because of, of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you warmed it up, the gelatin would melt. So uh, it's missing the mark on uh, what we think of as apple pie eaters. Oh, you want it to be warm, but it is served cold. It, it would be served cold. I they would you. not have I warmed it up for us there because the gelatin would melt away. That's an interesting point. Um, so, yeah, something's weird about this. I was just charmed by the cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all that needs to happen for you. my upper lip all wet.